Hi YouTube family, so how is everybody doing? I am doing pretty good, as you can see I just got out of the shower, but this is just going to be the only time I can make this video. So this is going to be my week 38 post-op black band update video with a pre-op surgery update for my hysterectomy. So uh, let's see where to begin. I am down another pound and a half, which makes me really happy. I'm going for my pre-op appointment tomorrow to get my blood work and all that good junk done. And uh, then surgery is Wednesday. So this video is mostly going to be about that. I still don't really have a whole lot of answers as far as which surgery I'm going to be getting, like whether it's going to be scope or it's going to be vaginal or if it's going to be robot. I really don't know, but it looks like uh, he's going to attempt the um, robot. If he can't do the robot, he can't do the microscopic either. So, uh, I am doing pretty good as far as pre-op goes. I'm on a pre-op liquid diet just because it seems to be easier and healthier for your body to go in with a little less weight and less, um, you know, crap in your liver, which I don't really eat anything <clears throat> that I would consider crap now. Uh, so, I don't know, but I'm doing it and it's not as bad as when I did it for lap band because I don't have to do just the shakes and I'm incorporating soups and things like that. Just liquidy stuff is and low sodium uh, because of my history with my blood pressure, they think that's a good idea. So, as you can see, I'm kind, I feel like I'm swollen still a little bit. Um, I did have a period this month, and it, actually I had two periods this month, and they were both very long, uh, actually, uh, up until two days ago, I was on my period, so that really sucked. Yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at, you know, it's, today's Monday, tomorrow's Tuesday, I go for pre-op and then surgery, I go in the hospital at 6 o'clock. Originally, I was supposed to win in the night before, but they changed it in case I needed an extra day um, post-op. So, I had to take what my insurance would approve unless I have a medical necessity to stay. But, I'm going in with my band still like it was. I still got 6.5 cc's in my 14 cc allergen band, and I am... I'm nervous, a little bit apprehensive about having fluid in my band, but I think I'm going to be fine. I've spoken with the anesthesia team and my doctors, and I, I think it's going to be okay. And my lap band doctor is going to be at the ready. He said he would have everything in the car that he would need, and if he had to come down and feel me, all I had to do was call him. That's the great thing about my lap band doctor. He has a cell phone just for his patients. And if you need him, you call him, he answers. You text him, he answers. I mean, I think I the longest I ever waited one time was like 10 minutes to hear back from him. So that's really good because a lot of hospitals are not equipped to deal with flat band patients. So if you have an accident or if anything happens and you go in, you let him know. And if he thinks he needs to come down or if you feel like he, you want him to come down, he will. So I feel good about all that. It's been a pretty good week. I've just been really busy trying to get the house ready and get, you know, everything packed. And I actually had to go and buy pajamas <laughs> because the ones that I had from my lab band surgery were way too big. And the ones that my ginger gave me, they're the only ones that relatively fit me. So that's the only pair I had. This will probably be the last video you see from me until at least sometime next week. I don't know. There's internet, free internet at the hospital. But I don't like to do that video capture, YouTube capture thing because I like to edit my videos. So I'm just going to film while I'm there and then whenever I feel like it after I get out of the hospital, I'll sit down and put it together and upload it. But if you know, if you have me on Facebook, uh, you'll get updates on there. Or you guys can get a hold of Ginger or Danielle and they will let you know because I'm in contact with them every day. So, um, and... I've already set it up. My husband is going to have my phone, so Danielle, you and Ginger can call or text or whatever, and he is got a whole list of people that he's supposed to let know what's going on. But I just want to say thank you to everybody that supported me. Thank you to all 
all the people that's inboxed me uh, with questions about this and so that people that said thank you for me, you know, letting you guys into this part of my life. I think it used to be taboo to talk about a hysterectomy, <laughs> but it's just part of life and things are different now. And I'm glad that people responded. And, you know, some of the questions they ask, I inbox and did it put them on a video because they were private questions and there really was no way to answer them without getting, you know, above what YouTube would probably allow. <laughs> so, I just, you know, inbox those people to let them know, um, you know, the information. But I really appreciate all you guys. Ginger and Danielle, you are the best support team that I could ever ask for and, you know, y'all are just my best friends. I just love you guys. Jen, I hope you're feeling better. I'm watching your videos to keep up with you. And, um, of course, WhatsApp, you know, we talked on there. And I'm, I'm glad that you're feeling better about things. And I know it's going to be okay. I hope that everyone that's going on the cruise has a safe time and a fun time. And, you know, don't gain too much weight, but have fun. You know, that's what it's about. You're going to have fun. Um, I wish I was going this year, but I can't go. So next year, I'm definitely going to go. Especially if Ginger goes. <laughs> I'm going to be there. But that's going to be it, guys. I don't want this one to be too long. I've got a lot to do tomorrow. got to get everything packed and ready to go. And then I will be leaving for the hospital at 5 o'clock Wednesday morning. So, if you pray, then pray for me. I'm scheduled to go into the OR at 7 a.m. And I'm the first surgery on the schedule, so I am pretty much could say I'll be in there at 7. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so just everybody take care. I'm going to miss you guys. Don't hesitate to text me or message me or whatever. And I love you all. God bless you all. And I will see y'all sometime next week.